Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh here with a demo of iOS 6 Beta 1. Now, as you guys know, this was just released to developers last week at WWDC 2012. And what I wanted to do is go through some of those key features that Apple discussed and give you a glimpse of what iOS 6 will look like in the fall. So one of those first features I wanna talk about is obviously the biggest feature of iOS 6, and that is the new Maps application. Now, Apple has gone without Google's backend and they've written their own app in-house. And what I want to do is show you that app right now. First thing you'll notice is the new icon. It does still have one infinite loop, but it has some new colors in it. So it looks nice, nothing too crazy there. So we will go ahead and open up the app itself. And I'm gonna go ahead and start in San Francisco here because San Francisco has the 3D flyover, which I wanna show you a little bit later. First thing you're gonna notice when you open the Maps application is that it's not that much different from Google Maps. Now, before we go further, I wanna say, don't compare this to Google Maps immediately because this is still technically a beta and I know people are gonna get all excited and hyped up about it. 9to5Mac showed some screenshots of the uh, new Maps application here and Google Maps. And obviously Google Maps looks a lot better. It has a lot more information displayed. Uh, Apple is just getting started with there. So give it time and then we can do a fair comparison. So let's go ahead and go over some of the features of the Maps application. You'll notice it still has the tracking arrow here in the bottom left. You have a new option for 3D Maps. Over here, you still have that page curl. That'll let you drop a, pin, drop a pin, print, show traffic, uh, list results, and then you have three different options here for viewing the maps. You have the standard, hybrid, and then of course the satellite mode. On the left here, you have the little route button, and this is gonna give you the directions plus turn-by-turn -turn navigation, yay. I'm really excited Apple added that to their Maps application. And then we have that little blue arrow, which is gonna display all the information for whatever you're looking for. If you have a restaurant you're looking for, it's gonna show a nice little picture up top here. You're also gonna get the address, email, website, phone numbers, all that good stuff. Also, you're gonna have some Yelp reviews. So this is all really cool features that's added into the new Maps application. So let's go ahead and take a look at this 3D mode now. Go ahead and hit the 3D mode and we will go back to San Francisco. I think I tracked myself there. There we go, we'll hit 3D mode and you can see it kind of shifts the angle. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right. And again, this is a beta, so you're gonna notice that the maps don't load instantly, which is fine. This is what we're gonna expect here. But you will notice that this is the normal street view that we have. And now what we can do is take two fingers and swipe up. And there you have the new 3D maps. And you can see all the different buildings there are. Let me back out just a little bit. And it looks really cool. You know, it's a nice new feature. I don't see myself using this every day, but I do see myself going to a new city. And if the 3D maps is available, I see myself using this to try and catch my bearings and just look for, you know, these landmark buildings just to know where I'm going. So this is a really cool feature. What you can also do is take two fingers and just kind of spin them around and you get the 3D view. Flip it around like that, or 360 view, excuse me. So that's really cool. Again, right now this is gonna be a feature kind of just to show your friends and then it'll look cool, uh, but it's not one of those features you probably will use every day. So let's go ahead and go back here. Oops, don't do the page curl. We'll zoom out and I'll show you the turn-by-turn -turn navigation. What you can do here is go ahead and hit the route button. It's gonna route from where I'm at right now in Tucson. And you can pick any one of the routes that are available. Once you do that, you just hit start. Starting route to San Francisco CA. Head east on... So you can see you have Siri giving directions now, which is really cool. Uh, I've tested this before and it works absolutely awesome. It is perfect. Uh, I haven't found any flaws. Again, this is still a beta, but from what I tested, it's led me to exactly where I needed to go, and uh, it does a really great job. Now, Apple has been partnering with TomTom to do these turn-by-turn -turn navigation directions, so it is a really, really cool feature. So that is the Maps feature of iOS 6. Very cool so far. Next up, I want to show you Facebook integration. So we can go ahead and go to the settings here and scroll down to where our Twitter integration is, and right underneath it, you can see we now have Facebook integration. What you can do is just click on that and sign into your Facebook account. You're now able to have integration within iOS 6. So let's say you take a picture and you wanna post it to Facebook. You can go ahead and click on the picture. You can click on the arrow 
And now you have this nice array, this grid here that will let you pick your option. You can email it, you can message Twitter, the new Facebook option, add the contacts, print, all that good stuff. So there's our Facebook option. If you tap on the Facebook option there, it'll pull up a little page just like it does with Twitter. You can add your comments and post it right away. So that's a nice new feature just to streamline everything as far as posting to your social sites. Next up we have the phone feature. And this is a really cool feature that I'm excited to use. Anytime you get a call and you're in a meeting or something, you want to not answer that call but still send a message, you can now do that in iOS 6. So what I have here is I have my iPad off camera here and I'm going to go ahead and call the cell phone, do a little FaceTime. Okay, we initiated the call. So let's go ahead and wait till that pops up. And you'll see you still have the decline and the accept, but you now have this little camera option here. And you just slide that up. And you now have the option to reply with, with a message or remind me later. So if you hit reply with a message, you can choose custom messages here. I'll call you later. I'm on my way. What's up? Or in your own custom message. I'll just do what's up. And now it's going to send a text message to whoever called me. And it'll say, I can't talk right now. What's up? So that's a really nice new feature. Again, you can also do the remind me. It'll remind you later when to or who to call. So really nice feature in iOS 6. The next feature I want to talk to you guys about is in the mail. So you go into the mail app here and you now have a little option here for VIPs. So you click on that and you can star emails and they will go directly into your VIP folder, which is a nice feature, especially if you get a lot of emails from the same person and you want them to be VIP'd. This is a nice new feature in iOS 6. Next up, we have some small changes here. We have a little redesign to the weather app. It's not you know earth shattering or anything, but it does look more retina-esque. It has some nice HD graphics here, and it looks really nice. Next up, I want to show you a small feature in the music app. Again, this is nothing too earth shattering, but you can see it has a little new redesign here with the iPod options. Uh, you have a different color change here with the orange. You can go back and go through some of your songs, but you'll notice that it's a nice white, kind of classy look to it. Uh, nothing too crazy again, but it does look nice. It's updated. It kind of makes a fresh look of the music app. So there it is in iOS 6. Next up we have the Do Not Disturb feature. And this is a key feature for me because I do get text messages and calls and all that good stuff at night when I'm trying to sleep. And it does bother me. So what you want to do is scroll all the way up. You have your Do Not Disturb option there. You can go ahead and turn that on. And then go into your notifications and you have some more options here. So you can have a little schedule here. You can have allow calls from certain people. You can do repeated calls. So if somebody is calling you because there's an emergency, you obviously don't want that to be shut down right away. So it will allow a call to come through. Basically what Do Not Disturb allows you to do, let me explain it here, is it allows calls and text messages and whatnot to come to your phone, but it doesn't wake up the screen and you know turn a bright screen on in your dark room. And so it's just a nice new feature to not disturb you while you're sleeping. So those are great new features in Do Not Disturb. And now the last feature I want to show you guys is tap to tweet, tap to post to Facebook. It's now in Notification Center, so that's a really nice feature. You can just pull down your Notification Center, tap to tweet, it'll pull up. You can go ahead and tweet instantly. You can also post to Facebook directly from your notification center. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope that it helps you out in looking at iOS 6. It's really going to be an exciting update. I know a lot of people aren't that excited. The media built it up so big and everyone was saying there's going to be a dramatic changes. But for what it is, I think it's a great update to iOS 6. So if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button as it does help my channel. If you guys would please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I got some great content coming up. And if you would, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of iOS 6, if you're really excited about upgrading to it. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll try and answer those as soon as I can. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.